little story from Tagged Out Taxidermy. My project for today is to cast this goose head. This is products that I got from Ace Hardware. Bondo is going to be what I make my head out of. But for casting purposes, I'm going to use 100% silicone. And this right here is one I did of a widgeon. The thing I'm going to do is stick my head inside this bag. And then I'm going to use an air hose to blow the brains out. And I just bought this this air nozzle from uh, Harbor Freight, so it's pretty cheap. And I'm just going to stick it right inside the brain here. I'm just going, and then I'm going to make sure that I'm holding everything close so I don't make a mess. Now. Your head's going to be pretty gross. So what I'll do, you can see how it's pretty gross and it blew the eyeballs out and stuff. So you're going to have to rinse this off. Then so after I get this washed off, I'm going to just dry it as best I can. And it's important to have it dry be, um, for one reason, silicone won't adhere real well if it's wet. So my next step is I'm going to take because we want to get as much all that inner nostril detail I'm going to take a broken scalpel blade and I'm going to stick it up right between these two nostril holes making sure that there's no there's only a certain distance that silicone will go in and if if you don't do a razor blade a lot of times your silicone will go in so deep that it actually gets trapped in there and then when you go to pull your this out of your mold it'll break your silicone off and you'll lose all that detail so the next step is to take some super glue and run it right here inside your your bill. And I, I usually put a little bit on the bottom jaw too, and I'll just let it dry a little bit. And then I'll press it in and hold it until it sets. That way I don't have to worry about my bill sliding around or opening up because this is going to be a closed mouth. So my next step, now that this is, the glue on this is set up, I'm going to make like a, a little cradle for this, something like that. And then I want a, something that will hold into this head. So what I'm going to do is figure out how deep this is going to be able to go into the head. And probably about there. I'll just bend this over. And then I'll take this tail, this piece here, and bend it just kind of at a 90 degree angle. And I'll just make sure that'll slip in there nice. Hold it. And it's actually, I, I bend it at a 90 so this can be cradled. Gonna 
make sure that looks nice and straight. Next thing I want to do is take some hot glue and fill this. With some hot glue. And just stick it in there. So my next step is to put a real thin layer of silicone onto the bill. Um, the bill is where we're trying to get most of our detail and by putting a real thin coat on there we're going to be able to pick up more detail. So I'm just going to, just so I don't waste any of this. I'm going to just squirt out a small amount and we're going to use probably purple, now let's use green, uh, acrylic paint. Acrylic paint will allow this uh, silicone to harden faster. And you don't need a lot. Maybe like three drops. And even that's probably more than I need. But um, I figured it'll give me a little bit darker color if I can make it a, put a little more in there. And the first thing I'm going to do is my head and I'm going to fill the nostril. I'm just going to press that in there until it's full and then I'll do the other side and I like to kind of go that little bit at an angle so I'm pressing it up in. And then I'll do the rest of the head, the rest of the bill. And right here where the, where the webs are in the teeth, teeth area, um, I'm going to make sure I press that in there. And by putting a thin coat to start with, you're going to be able to keep any air bubbles from forming in those areas. And if you're having a hard time getting a nice smooth texture, you can actually add, mix up some soapy water, Dawn Fish soap and water works the best for me. And I, that way I can, um, your fingers won't stick. And don't worry about getting it completely As long as you got a, a thin skim on there, you're good to go. But when you, when you, before you put the second layer of silicone on, you want to make sure it's dry and there's no soapy water on there. Otherwise, you'll have issues with the next layer sticking real well. I'm just going to squirt some soapy water on my finger. And smooth this out. It doesn't actually have to be super smooth because a little bit of raised edges won't, will actually help the next layer to hold. The silicone seems to only really want to stick to itself in most cases. 
So we're on to round three of applying silicone. And once again, we're going to go ahead and switch colors. We're going to go ahead and do green this time. I'm just going to constantly do a little more each time. going to waste. So at this point I'm going to do my eyes. Make sure I get plenty on my eyes. And also I'm going to make sure that any spots that were missed in my last, last application is uh, covered. And the thing about silicone is it tends to get, when you mix it, it always has little tiny, tiny bubbles in it. Uh, at this point, however, we're not super concerned about it because we're just trying to stiffen up our mold. I was saying before how I like to make sure that I'm constantly building this nail area. So you can see I just put a big old blob on there. And I'm going to go ahead and take my tool and just kind of transition that blob a little bit. Let's put me nice and on a cake. All right, so now that we got several layers of silicone on this, we let it set for a few hours to let it cure, what we're going to do is go ahead and pull the uh, goose head out. And it's actually usually comes out pretty good as long as our, uh, our wire is securely in there. So usually what I do is, I, I have a feeling this is going to pop out. But what I usually do is when I'm pulling, I let my hand slide down this, and what that does is it loosens and separates the mold from the rest of the head. And you kind of hear it kind of do a sucking sound. And if you just keep doing that, I don't know if you can hear that sucking sound. And then, once you get it loose you just go ahead and pull it out and there's your mold we'll clean this up and we'll we'll cut we'll cut some of this out um some of it we don't need but we'll go ahead and, and clean the inside with soapy water and then we um then we can trim this edge up and it's ready to pour and that's basically all there is to cast in this head and on the next video i will do i'll cat go ahead and cast the the head out of Bondo so you guys can see how I do that. Anyways, I hope this helps.